welcome to a sunny dealer PX in the winter. Uh, Land Rover Discovery 2004, the rest of the details you'll see on the screen now. I'm just going to quickly show you around the car. Uh, the first thing you need to be aware of is the front bonnet has got very heavy chips on it. Let's see, and there's also some stainings to the paint from a good old dollop of the Seagull. on the outside wheels are heavily marked on the outside edge and oxidization on the inner fins I think you get that there's plenty of tread on there three millimeters of tread that goes on there driver side door is okay got the side skirts a couple of marks on the door edges back door is a tiny scratch in there. My quarter panel is uh, fine, nothing there to report. The wheels again, previously been done but flaking off so they'll need a refurbishment. Uh, there's three mils of tyres on there and that's a good year tyre. Pays your money, you take your chance on the spare, I'm not going to take that off today. The spare is on there, don't know whether it's legal or not, so I'm not going to de declare it. Again, for any uh, vertically challenged people out there, also got the tow bar and the twin electrics on there. The car's got reverse park, a nice clear boot area, seats folded away, headrest remotes, and the view from the kiddie sunroof. Everything as it should be fighting against the sun so I'm going to try and work backwards rear quarter panel very tiny mark on there everything else is okay three millimeter tire tread and the alloy wheel needs uh, refurbishing door edge is on the passenger door could just do with a touch in everything else back for 2004. Front tyres are low, so them all 2mm, again original Goodyear and a full refurb required to the wheel. Bumper corner slightly scuffed. Nothing major on the outside. These Land Rovers can take a bit of a hammering. It's a view from the driver's seat. Nice black leather seat, no rips or anything on there. Got two keys with this one. Door card combination intact, all looking good. Start the engine up. 72,340 miles. Just get that right in so you can see. On there. No lights on the dashboard, I don't think this is advanced enough to have any lights if there is such a thing. But nothing to be shown today. There's all your heating options. I'll quickly scan across. You can take what you want from that. Five speed manual. Passenger seats all in good order. Nicely maintained. Ownership situation. We've got the logbook and MOT with us. It's a one former keeper. The MOT is valid until the 11th of July. Uh, the offside rear door central locking was reported as in-off at the MOT. Service book and service receipts inside the car. We'll go through the receipts. I'll leave them in the car for when you pick it up, but I will show you the stamps that we've got. James Edwards in 2005, uh, 11,590 miles. Uh, James Edwards in 2006, in the August at 26,470 miles. James Edwards in 2007, 32,902 miles. Then it was serviced by Newton Garage in Chester at, on the 17th of July 2008. Mileage not recorded in the book. 
2010 D&J Motors at 56.233 miles. It was then serviced again in um, July 2011, 61.348 miles by DJ Motors. 2012 at 65,000 miles by BJ Motors. Also had its brake fluid replaced. And it's also had a service on the 20th of 6th, 2013 by DJ Motors. So quite up to date with that independent service history. Show you into the back now. Back seats are all nice. The interior is really nice on this. So there you go, just a little bit of uh, love and attention to the bonnet, um, the rest of it you'd leave, you've got alloy wheels to refurbish if you want to, but it'll make a nice car, thanks for watching.